Aloha, this is Robert Selleck with Blue Planet Surf. Today I'm going to do a little review of the Maliko 280 new GoFoil and also compare it to the original Maliko um, just to compare the features. Couldn't find much information about it out there so I thought I'd make a little video review of it. So let's check it out. All right, so as you can see, the, the front wing of the Maliko 280 is huge in comparison to the original Maliko. This used to be, the Maliko used to be the GoFoil bigger size for the bigger guys. The Kai foil is smaller than this one. So um, compared to, comparing the wingspan, this is about 31 inches, the original Maliko. The Maliko 280 is about 42 inches wingspan, so it has a huge wingspan. Also, you can see that um, it has a lot more curve to it. You know, this foil is not really recommended for using in the surf. Uh, it's just kind of too big for the surf and also um, because of that huge wingspan it puts more forces on the on the mass and fuselage so in the surf um, you know has a lot of leverage on on the on the board so not recommended to take it out in, in the waves but it works great for downwinders um, i've been using it with this 12.6 downwind board our bump surfer and um, you know the first time i was kind of getting frustrated the conditions weren't that good second time i got started get, getting really nice long rides and um so it's super fun you can you can get it to fly at a lower speed so my weight is about 195 pounds so for me i was kind of struggling to get um, the maliko 160 flying at, at downwind speed so with the 280 um, i'm able to get it up um, at much lower speed so um, so the difference between the foils is, you know, in the size, um, wingspan, and then um, the shape also. So, and, and then the way GoFoil names their foils, like the original Maliko has, is 160, so that, that's how big the surface area is. So the 160 is, uh, I guess, about 1,600 square centimeters, and then the 280 is 2,800 squ square centimeters, approximately. Then they have the Evo wing, which is a little bit bigger and has a curve kind of more like the Kai foil. So the EVA is 180, I believe. Then they have a Maliko 200 and a Malik, this one here is the Maliko 280, you know. So there's a range of sizes available. And uh, the EVA has a curve. So one thing about the design, um, the Maliko 160, this original one has kind of a flat surface, which makes it very stable when you're flying. So side to side, um, it's, it's, it's stable um, and also because it's flat the whole wing area creates lift you know so versus the wing tips if the wing tips are curved down like on this one you do lose a little bit of lift from that curve but what I found with the with this foil especially when you come out high out of the water and very little of the mass is in the water basically the mass gas acts like a big fin so once you're high, flying pretty high and close to the surface there's not much of the mass in the water so it's a little bit wishy-washy side to side. It's, um, it doesn't have a lot of directional stability. The Kai foil or the Maliko 280 have these little wing tips. So I think that helps with having a little bit of directional stability. Also, um, it makes it easier to turn. So these cur the curve of the um, foil helps you kind of um, make it a little bit easier to go um, you know, from side to side and, and kind of bank into the turns, it seems like. So another thing that's slightly different between the, the original Maliko and the Maliko 280 is that it's thicker. So um, um, it's noticeably thicker. So it's just proportionally bigger foil with a thicker uh, foil. And that the thicker foil and bigger area create more lift. So basically, you know, the, the thicker the foil, the more lift it's going to create at less, less speed, you know, at lower speeds. So what you want to think of it, the size of the foil and the vo um, surface area and the thickness, it's kind of like board volume, you know, so the, the bigger a board is, the more flotation it's going to have, the better it's going to work for a bigger person. And then as you get better or using at higher speeds, you can use a smaller foil versus um, a beginner and uh, someone that weighs more. Um, it's, it's easier to start on a bigger foil at lower speeds, basically. Interesting is that the tail wing, the wing foils and the tail are exactly the same size. So Alico and the Alico 280 have the same, same foil on the tail. And then the mass and fuselage are the same, so they actually sell them now as sets, so you can buy multiple wings for the same fuselage setup. So this board, this board is a 12.6 by 28. 
I set it up so eventually if I want to have it as a shorter board, I could cut off like this one, the tail, the um, pedal box is mounted 40 inches from the tail. So I figure I can cut about two, two feet or so, or 20 inches or 24 inches off the tail of the board and uh, make it shorter and then still use it as a downwind board. And uh, with a shorter board, you would have less um, board that can touch the water when you're pumping, for example. So one, one thing about using a really long board is that it does get in the way a little bit when you're pumping up and down. It touches the water earlier. But the advantage of having a longer board is that it's a little bit easier to get it, get it up to speed to catch the bump. So right now I'm not really ready to cut off the tail. I still like the length of the board to, to help me get the speed that I need to get it to foil. So it actually seems to work quite well. The, the, really the only downside of having this really long board is that it, it does tend to um, touch the water earlier and easier. The gold foils have like a little tapered um, insert that you put it, uh, slide it into. And you, you want to get a real tight fit, so you actually have to tap it in to where the um, screw hole lines up with the, with the fuselage underneath. So once it lines up, this is just a set screw to hold it in place. It's not, the screw doesn't really tighten the wing. It's the tension of the, of the insert that holds it in place, basically. One, one thing you notice, this, this foil is so big that um, it does, like, when you're driving and stuff, it does tend to flex a little bit. And you can kind of feel that in the water too. There's like a little bit of that side to side flex this way and lateral. So because it has so much um, leverage and surface area, it does tend to feel a little bit bouncy at first. So that takes a little bit of getting used to. And then in terms of riding it, um, I've noticed that for downwinders, I need to have my foot a little bit further back. So I have my foot kind of a little bit behind the mast. Um, whereas in surfing, I usually have my back foot kind of right on top of the back edge of the mast. Um, when I'm downwinding, I have it maybe another six inches back behind the mast, my back foot, just to get it to lift up. And it's probably also the bigger board with more, more board in front of my feet. So I have to be a little bit more back to lift it up. But you really have to be, um, get into the stance where you're right over the foil and then take a few hard strokes and then kind of pop it up. Um, and ideally you want to kind of pop it up while you're still on the steep part of the um, bump. The earlier the, you can get it up, the better. And then you just kind of, the hard part is also to follow it. So you want to kind of always go a little bit diagonally to the bumps, not straight down. If you just go straight with the bump, you'll just outrun it and, and drop back down. You run into the back of the wave in front of you. So what you have to do is kind of go, go sideways, kind of go down the line of the bump and then turn and kind of follow, follow the bumps, try to connect them together. And sometimes you can kind of pump and, and paddle into the next one and kind of keep it going. As long as you can keep it up on a foil that has very low drag and you can connect the bumps easily. But as soon as you touch a little bit, you start slowing down right away. And then because it has more drag, like the drag of the board and the drag of the foil together, makes it really slow down uh, quickly if you don't keep it going. All right, that's my review of the Maliko 280. Thanks, aloha.